All right, my friend, it's time for you to throw away those bearded dragon pellets that they are trying to sell you at the pet stores because they're literally garbage. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing what you should be feeding your bearded dragon instead. Hey guys, it's Erin, and on this channel, we dig into reptile education for better care and conservation. And joining me this week is one of my rescue buddies. In case you didn't know or you're new around here, I run a 501c3 nonprofit reptile rescue. And while I normally share my personal pets or the pets that just live here permanently, I decided to change things up and share one of the buddies that is going to be looking for a new home very soon. This is Eugene, and Eugene is one of our rescue bearded dragons he's gonna be available for adoption very soon and I literally am in love with this guy he is gonna have no problem finding an amazing home because he is just such a sweet special guy and honestly just amazing I mean look at him he's so beautiful he's so beautiful now believe it or not Eugene is an adult male and he's even smaller than Bumble which is absolutely crazy. And if you were paying attention, you might have noticed something kind of unique about Eugene. Eugene came to me with <laughs> a foot missing. He's got no foot. And he's got some toes missing here. And a good portion of his tail is gone. But don't let that fool you. He gets around no problem. He is constantly running around and climbing and just does super, super well. And I'll be a little bit sad whenever he goes to his new home because he is so wonderful, but I'm so thankful that we had the opportunity to get to work with him while he's here. So you're gonna see Eugene throughout this video and he'll also be in a few more videos coming up because we're filming more than one video today and he's gonna be my buddy. Now this week, we're gonna be digging into your bearded dragon's diet. A lot of pet stores will really push those pellet and those freeze dried diets it's like freeze dried bugs and stuff. And honestly, they are terrible. They are not going to give your bearded dragon the nutrition that your beardy needs. So let's dig into what your bearded dragon actually does need. First things first, bearded dragons are omnivores, and that means they're going to have some protein. And in this case, that means insects, but it also means that they're going to be having plants as well. And that's the thing that I see people struggle with the most. Now, before we dig into plants and protein, let's break down some ratios here. The amount of plant and the amount of protein that you feed your bearded dragon is gonna vary depending on their age. So if you have a baby bearded dragon or a hatchling, you're gonna be feeding them 80% protein, so 80% insects and 20% plant or salads. If you have a juvenile, one that's a little bit older but not quite an adult, you're gonna move that to 60% protein and 40% plant. And when they're full grown, adult, beautiful, amazing bearded dragons, you are then gonna give them 80% plant and 20% protein. And if you're sitting there thinking like, oh man, I wonder if they like that. Uh, some of them do, but uh, bearded dragons are toddlers and they can be a little bit tricky to feed. And I think I mentioned that in a previous video, but don't worry. Uh, next week, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can trick your beardy into eating their veggies. Yep, we're gonna trick them just like we do toddlers. Now let's take a moment to talk about that protein, okay? Let's talk about those insects. Insects are probably the first thing that people will go and grab whenever it comes to feeding their bearded dragon because they're readily available at most stores and it feels like you can just grab a bunch and throw them in an enclosure and then you're good to go. There's a little bit more to it than that. In my opinion, the best protein, the best insect you can offer your bearded dragon would be dubia roaches. Now don't freak out. Most of the time when I say dubia roaches to people, especially people who are not involved in the reptile world, they, they start panicking. They start thinking about like cockroaches that you would find like infesting places. That's not the case. This is a completely different type of insect. Dubia roaches are going to be a very nutritionally sound offering for your bearded dragon. They don't smell. They are not going to infest your house. They're relatively easy to get a hold of. I order all of mine from dubiaroaches.com and they have been amazing. I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that, but I've used them for over a year and they have been top notch. I always get dubias delivered straight to my door. They're always alive and it's wonderful. So if you're on the market for dubia roaches, I highly recommend them. Now you can also offer insects like crickets. You could offer things like super worms or a black soldier fly larva. There are a lot of different feeder options. You want to avoid things like mealworms, which are hard for them to digest 
dust and things like wax worms or butter worms because those are kind of like the Twinkies of the reptile world. They're really delicious. Your bearded dragon will love them, but there's really no nutrition to them and uh, they can get pretty hooked on those and then they'll just refuse everything else. So now the other part of feeding insects is that you should be gut loading your feeder insects. And that means feeding them a healthy, nutritious diet before you feed them to your reptile. You do that like 24 to 48 hours before you feed the insect to your reptile, and that's gonna really boost the nutritional value of that insect. Okay, so that's the easy part. You're not gonna have any problem getting your bearded dragon to eat insects. And honestly, getting insects is just one of those things that's super easy. Let's dig into the part that most people struggle with, and that's the salad portion, because you can't just feed them anything. You have to give them specific types of plants. Otherwise, it's not healthy for them. You can't just go to the store and buy a pre-chopped iceberg lettuce salad and throw it in a container for your bearded dragon and expect it to be healthy. There are some things that they're going to need every day. There are going to be some veggies that you can give them uh, as mix-ins, like you just vary them day to day. And then there are going to be some that you give occasionally. So let's dig into the greens that you can offer every single day because at the base of every salad is your green and those are going to be the staple foods those are going to be the foods that you give literally with every meal now we tend to rotate between three different greens in this house because they are the greens that are easily available year round and they're greens that my beardies have all loved and that is mustard greens collard greens and arugula my beardies go nuts for those they love them especially mustard greens there's something about a spicy mustard green that the beardies just go crazy for and they will actually eat them now those are not the only greens that you can off there are more greens that are out there those are just the ones that we've had the most luck with now there are some greens that you want to kind of watch how much you give kale is one of those there's this misconception that bearded dragons can live on kale but it's not great for them. It's not great for helping with their calcium levels. So kale is a very, very, very occasional feed, not a staple food. And also you're gonna avoid things like lettuces, like iceberg, romaine, that sort of thing. There's literally no nutritional value to them whatsoever. But what salad is complete with just greens? Like none. There are a wide variety of plants, of different veggies that you can give to your bearded dragon as mix-ins. And like I said, you'll vary that. You're not gonna make the same salad every single day, right? You're gonna vary what you offer them. Now, some of the things that we love to offer in this house that do super, super well are things like Butternut squash. Butternut squash is one of those veggies that my beardies just go nuts for. They love it. Some other options are things like uh, summer squash. Summer squash is a great mix-in. Bell peppers are a great mix-in. Carrot shavings are wonderful. Yams are great. Basil is great. And dandelions. If, if you're in an area where you can get your hands on organic dandelions and dandelion greens, your beardy is gonna be like amazed. They will love it. They will love it. Now, this is not an exhaustive list. If you go online and you search for uh, bearded dragon diets, you are going to find huge lists of what you can give your bearded dragon. This is just to help you get started. But let's talk about some veggies that you absolutely don't want to give your bearded dragon. There are three that I always tell people to avoid because there are three that people typically have in their homes. You're never going to offer avocados mushrooms or onions. They are no feeds. Do not give those to your bearded dragons. Now, I know I've just talked about like the most boring salad ever. We've got greens and veggies and bugs. <sighs> you can offer some fruits, but I want you to think of fruits like this. Fruits are a treat. Your bearded dragon may love fruits, but you are going to offer them very sparingly, very sparingly, okay? Some great fruits to try are things like bananas, mangoes, berries, apples. And let me tell you, if you're in the bonding process, like you have a brand new bearded dragon and you're trying to like convince them to like you, you know, you're trying to build a connection and, and, and tame them up, fruits will go a long way. They're great, so just chop them up really fine and offer it to them by hand. It's really gonna help speed along that bonding process because they do like fruits. But again, you have to remember that this is a sparingly offered food. Not all the time, not daily. Their primary diet is vegetable and insect. 
Now that's a lot of information when it comes to food, but there are two other things that you should know when it comes to your bearded dragon's feeding. One of the biggest things that you can do for your bearded dragon is make sure you are providing them with the right supplements. I highly recommend rotating calcium with D3, calcium without D3, and a reptile multivitamin. Another thing that is super important for your reptile is water. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say that you shouldn't offer your bearded dragon water, that they don't need water because they don't drink water, and they're going to get all of their hydration from their vegetables. Now, part of this is true. They are going to get a lot of their hydration from the food that they eat, and that's great. They're also going to get hydrated whenever they drink, whenever you put them in their weekly bath, right? But having water in an enclosure available for your pet it's just pet 101. You always allow your reptile to have access to water, even if people say they don't really need it. And believe it or not, I have several beardies that have come into this house that will drink out of the bowl, especially those that have been pretty severely dehydrated. So you now know exactly what you need to be feeding your bearded dragon, and you're gonna be offering them food every single day. So you better work on those knife skills because you're gonna have to chop those veggies up, start dusting that food, and trying out what your bearded dragon will like. And don't be alarmed if your bearded dragon seems a little picky. It will take them time to try some of those greens, but I promise you, with patience, with dedication, and watching next week's video, you're gonna have them eating like champs in no time. All right, my friends, if you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and be sure to click and watch the video on your screen right now. All right, my friends, until next time, remember, do your research. Bye.